Okay, big day, budget in Canada. Yesterday, big day, Krista Freeland, the finance minister, announced her new budget for more money spent. You know, I say it all the time. Uh, I, I don't believe any of these people in the federal government are determined to do wrong. I, I just don't buy it. I believe they're smart people. I believe... Well, they're not all smart, but most, a lot of them, smart people, okay? But I believe they're completely and utterly wrong, totally wrong on policy, totally wrong on their basic premises, on the way they actually think. Because here's the deal. Tax and spend, tax and spend, tax and spend. This is a terrible way to run a country. It just is. It just simply is. I get it. I get it. Everybody's become so used to deficits, huge deficits, government borrowing, borrowing, borrowing. And I get it. Other countries are worse. I mean, the amount of money the United States borrows, the, the deficit in the United States is unbelievable. I mean, I even get that there's a whole working theory of this stuff. It's called modern monetary theory. Oh, yeah, as long as you borrow and you don't, you can borrow as much as you want. You just can't miss certain guide rails, guide posts. You got to do this. You got to, fuck it. I don't believe any of it, honestly. I don't. I mean, I, I am not an economist, but I'm a simple person. And I got a feeling that if you just keep borrowing money forever, that it ain't good. I mean, because at the end of the day, Nobody else can do it. Like, no business can do it. No business can say, yeah, we're just going to lose money all the time and we're just going to borrow some more and the bank will keep giving us money forever. That does not exist. I can tell you that factually. I can tell you that that doesn't work in a family. Oh, yeah, we'll just keep running up the credit cards forever. Everything's going to be fine. That does not work. Doesn't work for business. Doesn't work for households. Doesn't work for individuals. Doesn't work. Somehow, magically, because governments have us taxpayers to constantly extract money from, they think it'll work. Look, tax and spend. I don't even want to, we know, we know the taxes went up, but, you know, they always say, oh, it's just for the rich. It's just, uh, it's only the rich. Don't worry, everybody else is protected. Oh, and it's only for greedy companies with excess profits. <laughs> like, please, sooner or later, those companies with excess profits, you want to tax them, they'll just charge us more, okay? They want their goddamn money. They want their fucking profits, okay? You can dance around this. You can call it whatever you want. Increase the taxes and increase the tax. Look, I won't lose my mind on it. But I'm going to lose my mind on the deficit. Why in the name of sweet Jesus do we have to keep borrowing, keep overspending, Never cut a fucking expense, okay? Never. Like, there's one thing I know. Again, individuals, families, businesses. If you don't control expenses, you're fucked. You're also just stupid. You're just stupid not to control expenses. Like, yeah, yes, I can see here that the uh, advertising budgets run away with us. Yep, yeah, it's fine. Or, oh, I can see here that people are working, uh, you know, there's less... Less business coming in, but we got the same number of people working. We'll just keep them all. Actually, no. Let's hire some more. I mean, ultimately, that is my final and incontrovertible bitch with the government. Okay? More and more and more people. Look, to be clear, more people in healthcare, bring them on. Keep the education rolling. Keep the infrastructure rolling. Like real infrastructure, like bridges. The roads that the Minister of the Environment doesn't want to build anymore. Like the, the, the things that we need as a society keep on coming. But I don't know if we need many more people in CRA. I don't know if the tax people, we need more and more of them. I don't know. That. Matter of fact, fuck it. No, we don't need more of them. We need less of them. Okay. We got more tax people per capita, like almost four times the number they have in the States. That's right. There's Per capita, for the size of the population, the U.S. has 400% less people in the IRS collecting the money. They're getting the money in. They're getting the money in. And by the way, 
you know, we hear, oh, well, you know, there's more Canadians, so we need more people in government because we, we've grown the population, you know, through immigration, we've grown it, we've got to have more people to look after them. Yeah, I get that in healthcare. I get that in certain key public areas. But hey, like, you can't automate any fucking thing. Like, you can't automate, you can't automate the passports. You know, in many countries of the world, you know, there's no passport office. There's an office, but people get passports through FaceTime. People get, yeah, that's my ID. That's who I am. Take my picture over the FaceTime. Yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been at this address forever. Here's my other ID. Here's my proof. Okay. Yeah, I'll, eat. I'm going to send you by, I'm going to put in the letters of the people who are my sponsors into a portal. Nobody needs to go into the goddamn office. Okay. And then, boom, a passport shows up. Many countries work this way. Why is it impossible for Canada to automate fucking anything in government? Like nothing, okay? Look, I believe in government. I believe there's things government needs to do to help our society, to make our country better. But I don't believe that it's a blank check. I don't believe that we just tax and spend eternally, that every department grows, that the population of government workers grow, not just in healthcare, but everywhere. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Tax and spend. Minister Freeland, Government of Canada, enough is fucking enough. We got to stop the tax and spend. We have to stop it. 